Hello and welcome to a new video about electropneumatic or electrohydraulic. We said we are controlling our valves electrically. This is convenient because we need less space, we have less effort, it's simply cheaper, we can put the wires there, they can easily be put somewhere in the smallest places. It is easier. Okay? However, it's also easier to destroy a wire, to cut it, hurt it somehow else. Yeah? A wire is cut very easily compared to, let's say, a hydraulic thing. Yeah? Where you have to use more force. Also, electrical power is not that easy to be stored and so on. Yeah? So it's likely that you lose the electrical power. Uh, and we have to deal with this. Whenever we are losing electrical power due to wire break, a loose terminal, uh, or simply by power outage, something like this, so because a fuse blew, blow, blow, fuse was, is gone, yeah? uh, we have to deal with it. Yeah? Our pneumatic part needs to keep our system in a stable condition, not uncontrolled, moving somehow. Yeah? It, there must be a defined behavior, simply. And what this behavior is, depends on the, on the valve. All right? Make this pretty again. Good. So which valves do we have? Let's start here. So this is a, this is a three to way valve, this one. Yeah? Three slash two way valve. spring-loaded. Okay. What is the behavior of this valve in, in, at the power outage? This might be operated. However, it's for sure not operated if the, the valve is... if the, if the electrical is, is lost. Okay. So, this will switch back to the rest position. Yeah? Switch back. Switch to rest position. Whatever is controlled there will go to its default position. Yeah? So a right cylinder will move to default position. If we can live with that, we can live with that. That's the behavior of this valve. If this is okay for us, then it's okay for us. And also in every cycle, in every step of our control. Okay? If you have somewhere a step where this should not happen, it cannot happen, or must not happen, then this is not a good solution. If this might happen any time and it's even safe, then why not? Also spring loaded yeah? and Therefore, with the default position, might be a 5-3 way valve. So here we have the 5-3 way valves here. 5 slash 3 way valve. And they are centered by the springs. So the default position, if we have power outage, the default position will be this uh, middle position. Middle position will be default position, and we have the choice. Here we have the choice what shall happen. Okay? So we can select which middle position. Here I've drawn three different middle positions, left and right, this should be equal. Let's think about what is happening at this. Yeah? At this middle position, wherever we were, yeah? if this was moving or not moving or whatever, we will switch to this position and the, the, the position of the cylinder will be blocked at exactly this position where it happened. If it's just, if it's left, it will be blocked left. If it's right, it will be blocked right. If it's just on the move, it will be blocked in, in the act, yeah? suddenly. Yeah? So with this middle position, the movement of cylinder will be blocked 
point. Point. Period. It's called. It's not point in English, it's period. Moving on cylinder will be blocked. At the exact position where the power outage is done. Okay? That's it. If we are having like this, yeah, so if both sides are connected to exhaust, yeah, or in hydraulic this would be tank, then the cylinder might move freely. So if we have external load, external forces somewhere, the cylinder will go wherever the external forces put it. Okay? So here, <coughs> cylinder, will be powerless and can be moved freely is this freely can be moved easily okay can be moved wherever you want to put it yeah? because simply there's no force applied huh? the pressure line is blocked and this here Power to everything. Yeah. What will happen with the cylinder? Yeah. Let's think about if we have here apply a pressure and here apply the same pressure. Yeah. Here we have a big area, here we have a small area. The cylinder will travel outwards, yeah. however with reduced power. Yeah. Because there is some force pushing back. Yeah. So we have some force pushing in this direction, bigger force. We have some force pushing in this direction smaller force, so the cylinder will move outward with lower force. Okay, here the cylinder will move out, but with reduced force. And whatever is suitable for our application, whatever is safe for our application, we can do this. So this is the spring-loaded, this default position things. If we have something like this, an impulse valve, so this here is a 5 slash 2 way impulse valve. This means a short impulse on whatever side is enough to switch the valve and if the impulse is gone then the valve will stay switched. Yeah? So this valve will stay there wherever the last command has commanded it to stay, to go. Okay? So there's a command which the, the valve will move yeah? and if then a power outage will occur nothing else would happen. Yeah? So here, in this case, the cylinder will complete complete the last command. Okay? If the last command was travel outwards, it will finish to travel outwards will not be blocked or anything, it will just travel outwards and stay there and then that's it. Yeah? So this is how the pneumatic side of the valve is determining what behavior we have on electrical power loss. Yeah? We, you should consider this, you have to consider this to, in order to produce a safe, safe control system. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, there's a reason why they produce different types. Use them wisely. Now you should have an idea of what to think about. Next time we are talking about the other, the other things we talked about when choosing a valve. Yeah? What is flow rate? What is the switch and so on? Switching time. Uh, what to expect there? Going a little bit more into details into this data of a valve. Yeah? What is nominal size? Well, this will be answered in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.